familiar? Do you know its meaning? Do you know him? Have you seen it? Where? Here, all your questions will be answered. I'm Teacher Seidel. Let's remember and be amazed to different artists and their famous artworks and how they amaze us. After going through this module, you are expected to identify distinct characteristics of arts during neoclassic and romantic periods. Explains the use or function of artworks by evaluating their utilization and combination of art elements and principles. Compares the characteristics of artworks produced in neoclassic and romantic periods. Create artworks guided by techniques and styles of neoclassic and romantic period, especially linear style and painterly style. Let's freshen up and activate your mind. Are you ready? Analyze the following pictures of artists or artworks that will flash on screen and identify if it is from neoclassical or romantic era. You have five seconds to answer. Grade nine, are you ready? Let's identify. Number one. Correct! The answer is Neoclassical Era. Number two. You got it. Romantic Era. And number three. Very good. It is from Romantic Era. What about number four? Nice one! It's from Romantic Era. Let's see the next picture. Great! He is from the Neoclassical Era. And number six. You got it! He is from neoclassical era all right thank you grade 9 for actively participating today you will learn about neoclassical and romantic artworks their influence today were highly visible through the style of paintings, sculptures, and other artworks adopted by well-known artists internationally and by some of our national artists. What is Neoclassicism? How about Romantic period? Do you know what are famous Neoclassicism and Romanticism? Neoclassicism and Romanticism were the movements that spread in Western Europe and in the United States during the Rococo era, lasting roughly from the late 18th century to the 19th centuries. Neoclassicism 1780-1840 In decorative and visual arts, the Western trend that became popular from 1780-1840 to was called Neoclassicism. It also refers to literature, theater, music, and architecture, which were inspired by ancient Greece and Rome's classical art and culture. This is also known as the Age of Enlightenment. The revived interest in Greek and Roman classics has brought on the art form in this period. Neoclassical works of art such as paintings, sculptures, and architectures were typically depicted Roman history that exalted the ancient heroes. Characteristics Portrayal of Roman history Formal composition The use of diagonals to show the peak of an emotion or moment 
local color, overall lighting, classic geo structure. Romanticism, 1800s to 1810. Romanticism was a trend that emphasized both the delicate and stormy presentation of sentiments or emotions and individualism. The subjects or artworks promoted a variety of distinguishing concepts such as historical ambition, supernatural elements, social justice, and nature with a preference for the medieval over the classical. Landscape painting was also made more popular because of the romantic adoration of nature by inhabitants. Romanticism was a reaction to the classical contemplative nature of new classical pieces. Characteristics Height of action Emotional extremes Celebrated nature as out of control Dramatic compositions And heightened sensation Take note! Neoclassical and romantic styles differ greatly from one another. Here's why, based on its various criteria. We have nine criteria. Here's the table that shows the comparison of classicism and romanticism. Now, we have also distinct features of neoclassicism and romanticism. And the table shows the summarization of their distinct features that can be seen in the respective works of art. We were exposed to various characteristics of artworks from neoclassical and romantic periods, as well as their arts of elements. Now, how much can we derive from neoclassical and romantic periods of the various representative arts? and their works. Be careful not to interchange the two terms. Classicism refers to the art forms produced in antiquity or inspired by it afterward, while neoclassicism refers to the art forms inspired by ancient times but created later. Let's start with neoclassical painters. Neoclassical artists embrace the ideals of order and moderation in which artistic interpretations of classic Greek and Roman history were restored to realistical portrayals. Jacques Louis David, an influential French painter and considered to be the preeminent painter of the era. His subjects of painting was more on history. Let's see his famous painting artworks. Death of Marat shows the portrayal of revolutionary martyr, Napoleon crossing the Alps. It shows a strongly idealized view of the real crossing that Napoleon and his army made across the Alps through the great St. Bernard Pass in May 1800. The three brothers, all of whom appear willing to sacrifice their lives for the good of Rome, are shown saluting their father who holds their swords out for them. Jean Auguste Dominique Ingres He was a pupil of Jacques Louis David and regarded as one of the great exemplars of academic art and one of the finest old masters of his era. His paintings were usually nudes, portraits, and mythological theme. We have here Ingres' famous artworks. Portrait of Napoleon on the Imperial Throne depicts Napoleon in his decadent coronation costume, seated upon his golden encrusted throne, hand resting upon smooth ivory balls. The Apotheosis of Homer depicts an image of Homer receiving all the brilliant men of Rome, Greece, and contemporary times. Now, we've known the neoclassical painters. Next, neoclassical sculptors. The neoclassical period was one of the great ages of public sculptures. Artists looked to Roman styles during the time of Alexander the Great for inspiration as well as to mimic their styles. We have 
Antonio Canova, a prolific Italian artist and sculptor who became famous for his marble sculptures that delicately rendered nude flesh. Let's see Antonio's Canova's famous sculptures. Psyche Awakened by Cupid's Kiss, a marble sculpture portraying the relationship of Psyche and Cupid. Washington, a marble sculpture of Washington, currently displayed at North Carolina Museum of History. Bertel Thorvaldsen, he was the first internationally acclaimed Danish artist. He executed sculptures of mythological and religious themed characters. Here's his famous sculptures. Christ, an image of resurrected Christ currently located at the Thorvaldsen Museum. Lion of Lucerne, it commemorates the Swiss guards who were massacred in 1792 during the French Revolution. Now, we're done in paintings, sculptures, and what's next? Yes, correct. We also have architecture. Neoclassical architecture style started in the mid-18th century. It turned away from the grandeur of Rococo style and the late Baroque. We have Robert Adam, a Pelagian architect of the Neoclassic period. Here's his famous artworks. The White House, a well-known American civic building with a balustrade which is railing with vertical supports along the edge of the roof. United States of Capitol. Also, we have Henry Labrosi, Library of St. Geneva, Charles Garnier, his Palais Garnier. Are you now familiar to different neoclassical artists? Okay, very good. Are we ready to the next part? We go on now to romantic art. Let us know romantic painters are. The paintings of romantic period gave more emphasis on emotion. Artists express as much feeling and passion as it could be on canvas. We have Francisco Goya. He was a commissioned romantic painter by the King of Spain. He was also a printmaker regarded both as the last of old masters and first of the moderns. We have here his famous paintings. The 3rd of May commemorates Spanish resistance to Napoleon's armies during the occupation of 1808 in the Peninsular War. Saturn devouring his son depicts the Greek myth of the Titan Cronus or Saturn who fears that the world would be overthrown by one of his children so he can eat each one upon their birth. The Burial of Sardi It was a Spanish ceremony celebrated on Ash Wednesday and was a symbolical burial of the past to allow society to be reborn, transformed with new vigor. Theodore Russo His famous works are Their Clean Fisher, Landscape with the Plowman, and Jean-Baptiste Camille Carot, The Church of Maricel near Vives, Le Resposo Le Soles. Rousseau and Corot landscape painting depicts the physical world that surrounds us and includes features such as mountains, valleys, vegetation, and bodies of water. Romantic period also has their sculptures like neoclassical period. Here are the romantic sculptures and their famous works. Francois Rude. He was the best known for his social art which aimed to inspire and capture the interest of broad public. Let's see what his famous sculptures are. Departure of the Volunteers portrays the goddess Liberty urging the forces of the French Revolution onward. Jean the Arc. Next, we have Antoine Louis Barry. He was the most famous animal sculptor of all time. Barrio's famous artworks, 
Hercules sitting on a bull, Theus slaying the Minotaur. And that's from the Romantic Era, the Romanticism Art. Alright, grade 9, let me test your brain. Hmm, are you ready? Number 1. Yes, it is Neoclassicism. Number 2. Nice! The answer is Romanticism. Number 3. The answer is Neoclassicism. Number 4. You've got it. It's Neoclassicism. And number 5. Very good. It's Romanticism. Do you want more? Yeah! Identify who is in the picture. Picture number one. He is John August Dominic Ingress. Number two. Correct! Bertel Thorvaldsen. Number three. Good! He is Charles Garnier. How about number four? Very good. He is John Baptiste Camille Corot. And the last picture? Nice! He is Anton Louis Barrie. Are we now familiar? Its meaning enlightened you up? Do you know him? Have you seen it? Of course, not yet in person, but seem you all enjoyed and as if having a tour on our discussion. Now, we've learned the characteristics, functions, elements, and principles of different artworks and comparison between Neoclassic and Romantic period. Let's have an assessment. Let's see if you remembered them well. Are you ready? I can't hear you. Yeah! Number one. Which of the following pictures below is Oath of the Horaki? Picture letter A. Picture letter B. Picture letter C. And picture letter D. You've got the answers. Picture letter A. Number 2. British Palladian architect of the neoclassical who designed two American civic buildings. Letter A. Charles Garnier. B. Robert Adam. C. Henry Labrousse. D. Napoleon Isabello Veloso Abueva. Correct. The answer is letter B. And number three. The following are criteria except A. Technique. B. Role of art. C. Values. And D. Space. Nice. It's letter D. And number four. Commemorates Spanish resistance to Napoleon's armies during the occupation of 1808 in the Peninsular War. A. Charging Chaucer. B. 3rd of May. C. The Wrath of Medusa. And D. Liberty Leading the People. Very good! The 3rd of May. Letter B. And the number 5. Which of the following pictures below, Hercules sitting on a bull? Picture letter A, picture letter B, picture letter C, and picture letter D. Alright, good job! The correct answer is picture letter B. 
For the last, number six, who is in the picture? A. Jack August Dominic Ingress. B. Antonio Canova. C. Bertel Thorvaldsen. D. Jack Louis David. You got it. You remember him. He is Jack Louis David. And now you are prepared. Let's boost and show your talent. Draw an artwork incorporating characteristics of neoclassicism or romanticism with the theme of Amidst the World's Challenges in the year 2019 up to present pandemic. Give a title and short description about your work. Prepare the materials. One fourth white cartolina, art and coloring materials, drawing materials. At the back of your cartolina, you write your reflection using the guide questions below. Number one, does your artwork visibly convey the characteristics or idea of neoclassicism or romanticism? Number two, how does your artwork illustrate the idea and the message of such issues you have decided to work on. Number three, what did you feel while doing your artwork? Let me end with this meaningful quote. Ang pagpipinta ay hindi isang kompetisyon upang patunayan na ang isa ay mas mahusay kaysa sa isa. Dahil mayroong higit na kasiyahang nakukuha natin sa pagpipinta, at hindi kung ano ang talagang sinasabi o iniisip ng iba. Okay, that's the end of our lesson. Once again, I'm Teacher Size of Princess Ari Estrada. See you on our next art venture. Goodbye.